Okay, thanks. Um, so, automating uh, wired 802.1x man in the middle. Um, I hope you all know 802.1x. It's a way to uh, authenticate the, the computer on a switch port in this case. It authenticates and uh, you can be put in a different VLAN or just get shut down altogether. Uh, my project is aimed at the case where uh, if you make one mistake, the, the switch port goes down and game over. So, man in the middle. This is the setup I used. Um, the user authenticates through my BeagleBone um, to the switch and to the gateway. It's a man in the middle in the purest sense. Uh, after authentication, the, the switch has only one way of detecting the legitimate client, and that's the MAC address. So if it impersonates the, the authentic user uh, completely, uh, there's no way for the switch to detect it. So some of you might be thinking this is nothing new. Uh, DEFCON 19 Alpha Duckball pres presented this method. I implement, I did that, that's where I started. Uh, and the Pony Express Pwn plug does the same, but it's really expensive. Um, so when I set out to do this, there were not a lot of scripts available and there's still room for improvement. Uh, that's animated GIF, but it's not working. Um, so the, when you co connect to the same subnet uh, with the original method, there were a lot of ICMP redirects because every, all the traffic is bounced off the default gateway. Uh, that's something a network admin could detect. Um, another problem is communication with the client is broken and you might want to do client attacks. Uh, port security, um, th that took the most time to get working. You, when you send one packet, it's game over. Uh, source port collisions, you have to choose a set of source ports and if they collide with the user, it might, stuff might get broken. Uh, completely determining the configuration of the network uh, automatically, I improved upon that. Uh, you have to detect the gateway MAC address, uh, user IP, uh, user MAC address. Um, you might want to detect DNS settings and other things. Uh, you need power over Ethernet. I didn't fix that yet. And physical detection, that's why I got the animated GIF with the ninja sneaking up to the guy. Maybe you know it. <coughs> so, uh, some of my solutions. Um, I figured, well, uh, you need the ARP uh, requests of the ARP table to, uh, to stop bouncing everything off the default gateway, but you can't do ARP requests because the kernel uh, just uses its, your MAC address and you don't want it on the, on the network. So uh, I just listen for all ARP requests and um, ARP requests work just fine, so it's an optimization basically. Um, disable IPv6 because it is really noisy. Um, I used IP tables denetting rules and SSL sniff to uh, attack the client in some ways. Uh, instead of using uh, deterministic methods like the most traffic to uh, the internet or something uh, that was used by Poneplug and Elva, I used TTL based gateway detection uh, because if it's uneven and not one or 255, it's probably the gateway. Uh, and I have not yet solved source port collisions or the internal DNS configuration. So that's it, it's uh, all on GitHub, uh, and if you ask me, I can get you an SD card image. Not now, because I forgot my reader. Uh, so, yeah, thanks.